Today is Saturday and Saturday is the happiest day during the week because it's the day where I can concentrate on farm activities here. And to tell you honestly, I really desired to have a full-time concentration about the farming activities here. But for the meantime, let's just use the Saturday as our farm day. And today we are busy about our nursery of different vegetables. We have here the sprouted seeds of the spechai and the bell pepper. And we're looking forward to be able to plant different types of vegetables like the string beans, like the mostaza, this uh, red squash, many more. And this will be the integrated farming now that we are talking about. And as we speak today, I'm so glad to hatch more than two dozens of native chickens and we also have more than three dozens of ducklings and uh, these ducklings and chickens will certainly help us gain an income or make an income in order to sustain the needs for the farm of course we know that we have here workers we have people helping us and i tried my best to you know make an income out of our farming activities in order to pay the salary for our staff. And this is going to be a self-liquidating activity. We will produce our chickens, ducks, we will sell them, and then sell our vegetables and pay the proceeds to our staff. As you can see here, we have the five days old sprouted seeds of the spechai. And we will use the banana as our seedling pot. This is very indigenous, meaning that you can just use this without spending too much money. There are so many bananas around the corner and we use these banana leaves as our seedling pot and of course we will pin this with toothpick. So we will just fold this like that and then lock this or pin this with this uh, toothpick. That's uh, the way how to do it and we already have the seedling pot and our pet chai here will stay for two to three days before we're gonna plant them directly to the ground or we can also use um, empty bottles plastic bottles for that matter and then hang them to those of you who are living in the metropolis meaning in the city and you don't have this um, space where you can plant directly to the soil then you can still do the urban gardening by using these empty plastic bottles and hang this on the areas where the sun can you know, penetrate. So it's really very important that this could be reached by the sunlight so that they will grow. And uh, I have here some bunch of seedling pots now. This is it. This is the way how to do it. And we will now put some soil. And for purposes of demonstration, let me do this for you. So this soil is actually the garden soil that uh, was made out of the compost that we actually did in the compost bin. I dug a compost pit before and put all this, uh, you know, biodegradable uh, materials like the waste, the kitchen scraps, and then this is now the result. We have this 
uh, garden soil already. And then we have here this uh, seedling tray. Of course, we will put some water in it. We will put some water so that the soil will become soft and it's easy for us to get them out from the seedling tray. Just like that. Okay, so the next step would be to get one sprouted pechai here and then we will put that here inside. Just uh, as easy as this. Just like that and then put additional soil on it and that's it. So they will stay here for a week and then we can already transplant them or put them directly to the soil or to the hanging plastic bottles. It's very important to do this within seven days, meaning from the day that you have put the seeds in the seedling tray and then they're gonna sprout. You have to do this very quickly because to be able to have control of the stems, I mean, if they are already tall, they're so lanky that it's now difficult to put them in a container like this. So you guys, you will see here that we have almost uh, finished some 100 this uh, seedling pot filled with pechai, the young pechai and we will now put some water or we will water them just like that very gently because their roots were disturbed and we need an area where the sun can reach them, the sunlight can reach them and every afternoon from 1 o'clock to 5 o'clock this area is really very warm. You guys can see that we have improved a lot in our breeding of these native chickens. They became so plenty now. And you look at here, you look at here. We have so many ducklings. And these ducklings are just two weeks old and they are massive. And as you can see over there, we also have plenty of chicks, newly hatched chicks of these native chickens. And all the rest are already out in the field. They are roaming around to get their food. They will come here early this morning. I mean, early this morning we have you know, fed them already. That's why they are already full and they're already scattered and roaming around out there. But the good point here that I would like to raise is that the, the Muscovy ducks, the native chickens, and even the turkeys can blend. They can blend together. The duck and the geese are sitting on their eggs side by side. They're incubating their eggs side by side. And there's no issue about it. They're not even fighting. So this is just the evidence that they can really blend. They have different characteristics, but they can blend together. It's physically impossible to do this during rainy season because we don't have enough you know, space to drain our water. The filing of the hollow blocks should be done during summertime. And you can see that even though it's already dry, the water is still vast here. I mean, we have the natural stream down here that if we will dig even a shallow hole, um, the water would really drip up. So you will see that it's filled with water, but we don't have a problem about this because we can just use the submersible pump and get all the water. So for today, we are scheduled to do the cementing already of our wall. And we have this hollow blocks already, we have the stones, and I am due to get some cement and this iron bars 
in order to start with the mega project concretizing our wall the perimeter of the fish pond and this will be the most beautiful fish pond that I ever had since I started in the fish farming this could be the the most beautiful and at least we're improving so before we are just settled on the makeshift this uh, wooden tanks of fish now we are able to upgrade and elevate the quality of the fish pond that we have here and this is gonna be an exciting exciting event if we are gonna put all the lights and then the fountains and everything this could be the beautiful place that you can visit so thank you guys for watching i hope that you will continue to like and share our videos and if you are not subscribed meaning if you if this is your first time to stumble upon this channel may humbly ask you to please subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you will be notified of our regular uploads. And I would like to see you in my next video on here at Dexter's World.